Hello guys, welcome to episode 47 of the Iron Man series. Hope you guys enjoyed today's sexy ass episode. Back at it again for some more Barrel's loot. What do we get? <gasps> Seriously, Gotham's chain skirt. Fuck man. I have like maybe four in the bank. So would that make it my fifth Gotham's chain skirt on this account? Wow, oh my god, dude. That's way too many chain skirts for my liking, guys. I just need that Gutton's helmet, you know, just that one final piece with that sexy full set, but I guess oh well, you know, more items for me. And this chest will be a dragon mat helm. You know what? I ain't even mad. That's just good out money. So yeah, I'm gonna out that shit and get some money from it. Yeah. Will this chest deliver? We'll see. What? Curls crossbow again? Holy shit, I just got one like really recently. That's pretty cool, placeholder Carol's crossbow, can't complain about that. Alright, pretty nice. I think I will take a break from barrels for a bit because I have collected myself quite a bit of death runes as you can see. Almost 5,000, so this should last me quite a while at Zora and hopefully we can uh, get the final sexy drop from Zora and that is the magic fang using this many death runes. Let's go. And we get crystal seed. Why am I so lucky with crystal seeds? Just taking a break from Zora to test out this fun new weapon that I got recently, the Kurel's Crossbow. And let me tell you, it is so good here at Bandits. I am getting super consistent 55k range experience an hour versus a Rune Crossbow where I managed to pull 45k. So it's a 10k difference. But unfortunately, these bolt racks are limited. And at this way, I will probably use up all the bolts in a matter of just a few hours. But Hey, it's so fun why have it. Hey, check this out guys, because I'm about to get 94 range right there. Awesome. It's been so long since I've leveled up my range, just because I haven't really been doing too much combat training these uh, past few weeks. Just been basically zoring my ass off and a bit of bossing. But yeah, it's nice to see myself uh, getting another range level. 800k-ish, 295. I am going to be at Bandits a lot more now, so I'll probably be able to uh, pull in another range level, maybe even range level, because I can do both types of AFK training here. So, And yes, we'll see more of these gains in the near future. So as you can see, I am working on the Desert Diaries right now. That will be my next mini goal, and the reason why I want to finish it is because mainly for the increase in charges for my Ferro Scepter. So I plan on doing a lot of Bandit AFK training for my uh, Mage in range. Using the Scepter, I can get there pretty conveniently. But right now, my Scepter only holds 3 charges. Once I finish all the way from easy to hard, the Scepters will have 6 charges. So I'll be able to teleport uh, without having to recharge so often. So I kind of want to do it just for that. And one of the other crazy perks is that the NBC in Narda can make unfinished potions for you even if it's noted so I can go with like a thousand noted potions and he can make it all for me all in one tick at the cost of a little bit of GP but no big deal. Okay that is the last task for the easy desert diaries so I'm gonna do the medium ones real quick and uh, turn both in at the same time. And here is the medium desert diaries completed pretty fast and honestly the hard one will be pretty fast as well Just need to get around to doing that and yes, let's get the rewards guys Here's the dude that I have to talk to for the reward. Mr. Jar All right hand over the easy and medium rewards, please Here I am recharging my feral scepter and instead of getting a three charge It will now have five charges as you can see right there so now teleporting with it is more worthwhile so I don't have to come back here and recharge so often. And uh, it's time to use the experienced lamps of course on herb lore because that is literally the bane of the Iron Man. Maybe besides crafting but yep that's done. Awesome. Pretty good experience onto herb lore. I was AFK bandits and in the middle of it I ran out of bow rats. So unfortunate. It was so nice to use. I only got the Carol's crossbow worn down to 75% but yeah all 8000 or so of the bow rats gone in a flash but fortunately i'll probably get a lot of bolt racks on the grind to folk gutthans and varax so i'll be able to use the carol's crossbow again in the distant future yo jagged's coming in clutch with these quality of life updates so they did a farming quality of life update and it's fucking awesome look at this guys i'm planting my seed and nope i didn't super compost but actually i can do it at any stage 
in the planting process. So you don't have to do it before you plant the seed. You can do it even after you plant the seed. So that is super nice for when you fuck up. There we go. Step number six. Another blue dehyde body trimmed. That's definitely a placeholder for sure because I got one recently too. And here comes my favorite part of playing on this Iron Man. The farming gains guys. 81 farming. Awesome. And I still have quite a bit of seeds from Zoro of course. So expect to see even more farming gains. Oh my god, right? Probably see you with 82 farming in like a matter of days, honestly. So we just hit 71 smithing. Cool. Adamant axis, Sajian supply greaves. Not bad. So I decided to just finish up the mithril bars, making them into mithril darts. I guess I could use them for Slayer as somebody suggested. But uh, anyways, with that level, I only need to get plus three boost to make adamant darts. So when I get around to that, it will be a lot easier to get the boost since it's only three instead of four. And plus I have my overgrown cat ready to turn into a wily cat. So I will be turning that into one when I start making some more adamant darts. So I just hit 600 KC a little while ago. Ooh, nice, Elite Clue. Still no Magic Fan yet, of course, but because I don't have it yet, it's actually kind of a good thing because I can consistently just destroy Zora for a lot of resources. And had I gone all the drops sooner, I don't think I'd be as motivated to come back here, you know what I'm saying? Let's hand it in for a reward, I think. Okay, all right, still pretty uh, lame rewards for this elite clue but this is number seven done and it was quite a fast one. Oh my god really another elite clue scroll only like 10 kills or less apart what that's insane i'm guessing this is the end guys like 11 step or something oh my what the hell this is pretty bad i mean Four items and then none of them is, you know, that interesting. I guess this Dragon Maze is like extra placeholders to the placeholders. Okay, that's eight elite clues done on this account already. Racking up that clue counter, guys. What do we get? Shield left half? Fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I mean, it would have been awesome if I didn't get this before, but I actually did a few episodes ago at Fire Giants, but... Why, man? Why do I have to get it at fucking Zora? Yeah, this is kind of tragic, but... Alright, I guess placeholder Dragon Square Shields when I have the money to just go ahead and buy them. Wow, double Raw Sharks. Now, I probably have almost 7,000 Raw Sharks in the bank. It's gonna be some crazy cooking experience, guys. Well, guys, I just hit over 700 KC. And uh, no magic fan yet, but it's okay. Got quite lucky in the beginning, so I guess I gotta pay for it at some point. So yeah, I am just racking up a shit ton of supplies, over 6k sharks. My fruit tree seeds are being replenished again, so yeah, expect to see some more farming levels in the very near future. But uh, in terms of going for this magic fan, I really do want to get it. So I mean, every day I'm just gonna maybe spend an hour or two at Zora until I get it. That I guess the plan because I don't really feel like doing any other bossing until I get this magic fang done so it could be a very terrible decision but we will see by the time I get this magic fang you know Slade magic fang wow double deaths again all right I was kind of worried that I might head back to barrels you know because I'm gonna run out of death runes but I feel like I have enough from Zora just to charge up the trine once more so I don't have to go back to barrels just yet. There we go. What's the drop? <gasps> no! <laughs> no, why? The second one was alright, you know, placeholder, but the third one? Oh, it's the same exact thing as what happened on my main account. I don't even have a magic thing. I've never gone to magic thing ever. I have 600 KC on my main account and I have gone through tanks and night fangs. And this is kind of like the same idea. Tanks and I fang again, no magic fangs on both accounts. How could this be? Like seriously, it's a lot easier to get one magic fang than it is to get freaking three tanks and I fangs, all right? Especially within this many kills. So at this point, I'm kind of pissed. But man, you know, another drop, so that's pretty cool, but 
not the right one, of course. We're just gonna have to keep going, guys. No way. Wow, I got the kill. And disconnected. What the fuck? I thought I was gonna die, but for some reason, RNG was just so strong even though I couldn't do anything. Well, at least that was a shitty drop, so I didn't mind. Here is the latest clue from my latest Dagnaut task. And we get... Wow. That is very deplorable of a reward. Jagus gave me one of the rarest and most troll tasks to date. I honestly have never gotten a Scorabus task on old school RuneScape, even on the main account with 99 Slayer. Anyways, I might as well just kill them because I needed it for my hard diaries anyways. And I'm just gonna do this whole task because it's pretty short, but that's pretty crazy. I totally did not even know that the Slayer Masters on old school RuneScape actually gives you this task. Jesus, close call, man. Uncut Ruby. What the hell's next? Uncut Diamond? Ay, hey, uh, goddamn troll ass gym drops. Holy shit, I think I just got a new record. This has to be a new record or something ridiculously close. Oh, yeah, new record. Damn, 155, finally. Be my personal best by 5 seconds. And honestly, if I had the freaking uh, toxic trident of the seas, I could have easily been this record that I just got now, easily. But. That's alright, alright. A little bit of motivation coming back to me for this grind. I'm still grinding very hard as you can see. In like one day I've gotten like 100 kills, which is ridiculous. But yeah, we're gonna keep going. Wow. Rune 2H. More rune items for out. Oh fuck! I just hit 92 magic! Oh my god. Wow. I did not see that coming at all. Well. I guess uh, we are halfway to 99 magic. Oh, yeah. Pretty much, I got a whole magic level basically from using a trident, which is really, really shitty experience. But yeah, that's kind of crazy. Anyways, 678k to 93. Probably won't be seeing that for a while, but uh, yeah, nice gains. Oh my god, come on, tank test. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, so many close calls. God damn. And yeah, that's the day in the life of the Rice Cup Master, man. Barely getting the kills. And that will be all for today's episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the progress thus far. And yes, the next episode, I am probably gonna grind my ass off as or again in the hopes of getting this sexy ass magic fang that has been so elusive in my runescape playtime like never gotten it before so if you guys are new to the series and you want to watch from the beginning you can do so by clicking on the place link on the top right and also if you want to stay up to date with future videos feel free to subscribe that would help me out a lot as well and i highly appreciate that and again thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys later with another video in a few days take care and bye bye